So let's have a check how the applications, how this security building is running. So let's have the project structures, the profile structure of the projects. Well, we will, we will, I will discuss a little bit later the, all the resource information that I need in the in the pieces of profile structure of the of the Angular or TypeScript based project structures, all the profile design, how this looks like. When I run the applications, you see uh, the application is running the, with the proper, uh, proper speaking language, as I said, it's local to local port, 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 port and subsequently program it, but it's done in script here. So all the, the dependency for the type TypeScript format, as I said, I will discuss in a bit later how can we do the configurations for all the configuration of the projects, how can we start the project building, and so on and so forth, and how, how it is we have handled all, all things we need to be we need to be discussed. Uh, we are we are need to discuss all of these things. And all the types of programs and then so on and so forth. Everything is very really, really programmed and it is done is working perfectly what we are expecting. So it's the big files, it's the advantage, and then also the movie information, how can we play the movie, the so all things I will I will show you the information. So let's have a refresh the page, how it is look like. And the very beginning stage, the home page, the home page, the home page so all the functionality that we discussed. So it is the application is loaded. Application refreshed. We can also, before we are connected with the GeoServer application, we can see that all the GeoServer running, start GeoServer, GeoServer running, the, all the data from the GeoServer is logged properly, what we need, what we're expecting, the, all the definition of GeoServer. Those are new in the GeoServer. Or maybe we need this view server. This is those who need to really work with the geospatial database. So for a new project, maybe very simple project, we need to they need to the view server, users need to get the uh, 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 JSON files and uh, JSON files and process it to present the uh, uh, present the your, your maps, uh, present the your, your data, geospatial data into the OpenStreetMap map or Google Maps or Yahoo Maps or Big Maps, depending. That's for these projects, the enterprise level projects, and it needs a really for big data set in the G server that we saw in the network that I have it in the web application itself. So you see the application is properly landed, and it is running properly, it has a scales, it has a little bit of text and then all information, what we are expecting, the all the level information, and I think more there. So we can we can pop up the information. Maybe uh, we can go to the proper information. We we'll see that the default information there is not more focused yet at the moment. So we can uh, so we can uh, focus to that's we need to be customized. That need to be handled. That need to be handled. Some such things. So we have some some uh, the, the base maps. We are plotting. They are really perfectly working. Then all the features that I need that we require. We can we have it all the features, all the check buttons, and then uh, and so also the we can we can have the, all the functionality, the, all the features uh, covered here, and then we have the movie features functionality that I try to show you the the concept. But that means uh, you have a concept like you have all the part of the your overlapping functionality, and then. And you have all the part of the your network functionality. You present with all the networks from the from the uh, from the from the, from the geo server uh, and transfers your network connectivity. Uh, the, the pictures is there, and also that you have the connectivity with the, the, the your networks. You see the geo server data is coming. That we are expecting very quick and very faster. It's really properly rendered the programs. That's that's I mean. That's how this works. So let's let's pull things. So this program is properly. So then we, we can we can play the movies part also that I will show you later part of the movie, and then we have some some other constraint, other road network information. We have the inner road information, outer road. We need to be customized the pop up because it's you can see the download part, the download part for the for the operations. And, and all things, so it says uh, some layer information, some other information, we have some network connectivity that, that I said in the, in the Asian network connectivity in Bangladesh, and in the MF5 data connectivity, this is the, one of the traffic flow result information that I will discuss with you, the Asian network connectivity received from the, from the China, 
from the from the next coast to Japan and then all things that could be the Asian highway network connectivity and just like the traffic is not the SID on the on this new combination. So it's another time to connectivity how how it is to be connected. You see the in the Bangladesh and this from the Indian part and it can connect to the Nepal and then all things. This is the how it is to be done, how it is to handle that in the future and then how it could be set to be handled the traffic study. So all the profile is presented if you click with this information, the pop up information, I believe you can get it to like pictures, the traffic, yeah, the pop up information. You see how it is zooming, but still you can visualize information, what you need, what you need to add uh, information. So, exactly, you have the information about the uh, Indian highway, the Indian share, Nepal share, Bhutan share, and the Myanmar share, the Asian highway network. So, all that properly present uh, information. This is the depending on the purpose of the uh, time. So, so now we can we can we can play the movie and then uh, and discuss it bit more how can start the developments and then so on and so forth. So, so you see the the movie is running that we have. So all the controls is there. Functionality is installed the, in the movies and you can play re again the play the movies. See. See that you can stop and restart the programs and you can present properly in the project locations and what you need and then everything is there. All the components that I already discussed, how it is what has to be handled, how it needs to be and do do with the project's requirements, you can move it, you can build it, and you can program it and you present it in the end plan and make it really proper proper project structure and make really professional projects out of that one. So just play it again. So you see, then trying to discuss it, uh, trying to be present here how the when uh, before in front of this uh, the, the bus or uh, 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 vehicles, there is a, there is a full progress and how it is the handles and then there is the left side and right side. I need to be the calculate the traffic and the weight of the traffic and then and there is some information about how it is being handled and all the information is passed to the that um, vehicle drivers and even though the, all the operators who are collecting the tolls or who are managing, maintaining these, these constructions and these information is so you are presenting all the information that's needed the project requirements maybe we need maybe two or three movies to play and then to collect the information and combine the movies and present the, the products uh, for the end line can see everything even though you can also maybe you can make real time streaming I mean that you run you you, you video stream into the maps. That's I will I will discuss a bit later how can you real time video stream maybe you need it maybe how maybe you need ten or twenty cameras to install the your own network and then these cameras will do have real time visualization, the real time streaming the information into the your central systems, you program it and you, you can see where it is running and how it is running. Maybe it's, it's the application is running from 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 
other countries in the world that they are streaming the videos and see every information in the real time. That's the basic idea how has the project is needed to handle, has the requirements. So that means we need we need to discuss about how can we program it, how can we do it, and all the flexibility, the combination of the flexibility. So you see the movies is, is, is uh, still uh, running. See, we are presenting here some full plug information how it is full plug located, what is the facilities there, and how it need to be inserted, and maybe it is a real time screening of your, 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 your full plugs, as, and maybe from other countries, other city of the world, or the same country, we need to be screened, we need to be not only able to program it. That's the really, really one of way of presenting how it is to handle how it is program. So that means uh, we, we cover the parts. That's the, we have the, all the components that we need into the in the presenting the, the, the movies, and uh, also the presenting the movies. Uh, we have can you we present the your, your backups, the image layers, and how can you program and present your, your backup layers, and you can how can you present the pop-ups that in the form as a different format of your information need to be handled. That those things you need to be programmed and they need to be handled. Hopefully, as we are expecting, then the programming has to be done properly. And that's the things we will start together. Uh, how can we start these programs uh, with the from basic understanding of the, the, the CSS and JavaScript and HTML, and then we will go to the, the different map library presentation layers and, and, and our leaflets. And then after that, we will go to the, uh, the uh, a little bit upper programming language like TypeScript or Angular React. And then Node.js, and then after at the same time we will learn it how how the how the how the open server geo server needs to be handled or map server needs to be handled to to handle the geo spatial databases or geo spatial database things we need to be handled like that way. So now I say bye bye and goodbye. We will continue the developments we will do together and then write down your comments, your ideas that will help us or help you also. Uh, how can we program such a such a such a such a type of web GIS program? Now I say bye bye. Goodbye.